The University of Houston, the number one men's basketball team in the country is Name up, knock on plexiglass. <laughs> having some fun off the hardwood. So Fox 26 Sports Director Mark Berman gives us a look at BB's Crawfish Contest, the pit Coog against Coog. At BB's Tex Orleans in the Heights, where owner Brooks Bassler has a team-wide name, image, and likeness deal with the UH players, Brooks was the judge in which members of the Cougars competed to see who would be the crawfish tossing seasoning champion, seasoning the crawfish just like BB's Tex Orleans does it. In the championship round, it was Jarris Walker, Ramon Walker Jr., Jamal Shedd, and Emmanuel Sharp going after the undisclosed grand prize. And after 15 seconds of crawfish tossing, Brooks declared Jarris the winner. Now keep in mind, Emmanuel got a second shot at making the championship round because they were short one player in one of the earlier rounds. I think he got lucky. He, he, it looked like he'd been doing that for a little bit, though. He might be a little experienced from that. <laughs> that doesn't sound fair. No, not at all. It looked like... I really think a man should have won, we've been honest, but he did his thing. He had a couple tricks up his sleeve. Marcus felt like you should have been declared the winner. I, I That's what I was saying. I had the perfect form. I had I had all the wrist movement. Crawfish was in the air. I was mixing it well. They they really, they really snubbed me with the championship pick. The owner, Brooks, said that you got a mulligan anyway. You shouldn't even been out there. <laughs> No, nah, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have. What do you think about Jarris winning? Uh, I mean, he, he was a good, he was a good crawfish toss, so I, I got to give it to him. I give credit where it's due. Why'd you pick Jarris? What do you think about that? Man, he just seemed to kind of be a natural. He was getting those crawfish kind of falling off the bowl perfectly. The season was spreading out. He wasn't spilling a lot of crawfish. And remember, Emmanuel was, had, a, had a mulligan, so he shouldn't even been in the championship round. You've had some great moments in your life. Where does this one stack up, champion of the crawfish seasoning tossing contest? Definitely, definitely one-on-one. I'm happy to be here, and I was happy to get the win. What was it like when they declared you the winner? Oh, it was, it was awesome because I was working. I was working hard for the 15 seconds. I'm glad he chose the right winner. Now, according to Marcus, he thought you had some experience, and you might have had a few tricks up your sleeve that might not have been fair. I mean, I got a little, a little background in the seafood world, <laughs> a little bit. He thought Emmanuel should have won. I thought my style was better. Emmanuel's close second, though. After the competition, Jarrett celebrated with Brooks. And the winner is Jared Wagner. <laughs> Mark Berman, Fox 26 Sports. <laughs> that was fun. You know, Apparently, you have to get it in the air, yes. right, to really get it seasoned, and that's the I correct a way to do it. little instant replay, because some of those crawfish weren't even moving. <laughs> Just saying.